Hey guys, in this video I'll be comparing Chris Bumstead's 2022 and 2024 Olympia physiques to determine which year he was at his all-time best. I believe that these two versions are the top two best physiques of his, and they both have their own strengths and weaknesses, neither being absolutely perfect. To preface the video, the camera angles and lighting will obviously be different between the two years, so keep that in mind. Which year do you guys think is Chris's best version? And if you enjoy my content, a like and sub would really be awesome. With that said, let's get into this video. The first pose, Chris's signature front lat spread is probably the hardest pose to discern tangible differences in due to the difference in angles. In 2022, the camera angle is slightly higher up, which makes his lats look smaller than they actually were. In comparison, 2024 had a lower angle which accentuates his amazing lats and really focuses your attention to them. I have no doubt that 2022 was just as good in the lats as 2024, since as we're going to see in other shots, they showcase similar width and development compared to 2024. Anyways, in this pose, I'm seeing the most detail in 2022, particularly in the dryness of the legs and the striations in the delts and chest. 2024 isn't far behind by really anything, however, it's possible that the brighter light washed out some of these finer details. When it comes to the shape and silhouette, the clear lat exposure advantage would lead to an easy win for 2024, whereas the hard condition and crazy definition would go to 2022. Due to the 2024's lats presenting better, I'd probably go with this version, however 2022 with a more favorable angle would probably win due to the ever so slight conditioning advantage. The front double shows you what I was talking about with the lats since now both ears look virtually identical silhouette and flow wise. One glaring weakness of 2022 Chris was his pretty obvious torn bicep which should immediately disqualify him from winning this pose. This injury completely throws off his flow in the arms, and I don't think that any slight conditioning edge can make up for this imbalance. In contrast, 2024 looks to be in you know, rather good condition, has no asymmetries, and has that classic Chris Bumstead flow. I am still in awe of that 2022 conditioning package though, and the differences in the hardness of the quads, midsection, and arms is very evident. However, it's definitely not enough to beat the lesser injured, more symmetrical 2024. The side chest is a pose which doesn't really showcase any visible injuries for either year, and immediately my eyes are drawn to 2022. He was extremely shredded that year, probably the most conditioned Chris we ever saw, and this is evident when looking at the incredibly deep separation in the legs, the arms, and that far pec. 2024 isn't far behind, however, he isn't any fuller or bigger in areas to challenge that superior condition of 2022. I just think that Chris's physique with that grainy, extremely hard and dry look just appears so freaky, since the combination of top tier separation and the classic standard of aesthetics just brings so much wow factor. Don't get me wrong, 2024 looks really fresh and super conditioned, however, I don't see any noticeable size increases, apart from maybe in the arm, and that alone is not going to win against the far more detailed 2022 version. The front double is interesting because I think that 2024 may have been one of his weaker years from behind. He wasn't super full this year, at least at the prejudging from when this video was taken, and this took a bit of you know size away from his lats. You can see that in 2022, his lats really bulge out and have a defined sweep, whereas in 2024, they look a bit less pronounced and wide. His back does have more details and lines in the lower area for 2024, and his arms are significantly better in the biceps and triceps. However, the back and lower body easily go to 2022. I don't know though, the difference between the backs isn't incredibly significant, so it really comes down to the legs and arms. If you prefer larger arms, then 2024 is Chris's best shot. If you prefer the slightly wider, moderately thicker back, and more conditioned glutes, then 2022 is your pick. I personally am drawn to the 2022 version, however, less harsh lighting may make the 2024 version appear more detailed in the glutes and hamstrings, so keep that in mind. The favorite classic pose between these two years is slightly different, however, they are similar enough to compare. Now, I think this is a similar situation to the front double, with Chris's torn bicep being pretty evident in 2022. I don't really know why he hit the pose with the injured arm and didn't try to conceal it. However, you know, after further thought, it is a power move to be so confident that you can openly showcase your flaw and still win. Still, you know, 2024 does have that flawless look when it comes to injuries, 
but doesn't showcase as many cuts in areas like the outer quad sweep, the torso, or even the chest. Had Chris not torn his bicep in 2022, it would have easily had been his best version, no contest. However, here I think that 2024 symmetry narrowly takes the win. Then again, the conditioning edge is stark in certain areas, leading me to believe that some of you will probably pick 2022, even with the torn bicep. The three quarters twisting rear double is another signature shot for Chris, and he looks amazing in both years. I think that his trademark body part in this pose are the glutes, since they have wraparound striations and really add tremendous detail to the pose. With 2022 being more conditioned, it is no surprise that the glutes and the entire physique showcase a bit more detail and hardness. His torn bicep isn't really noticeable either, however compared to 2024 his arms aren't nearly as big. Chris really did bring up those arms over the years to the point where, in 2024, I don't even think you could call them a weakness anymore. So it seems as though the main difference comes down to the arm size versus general condition, and personally I think that the latter wins. That crazy peel the shredded condition really makes the pose pop in certain areas like those glutes and arms, which seals the deal for 2022 in my opinion. I will say that 2024 isn't far behind in condition, with this year being his second best conditioning wise. However, the quality refined muscle in 2022 is really unmatched. The last pose, the most muscular, showcases slight posing changes but generally similar mass. Once again, the conditioning for 2022 is off the charts with his chest having deeper separation, the legs looking carved right out of stone, and his triceps looking extremely full and bubbly. 2024 has some great legs, arms, and delts. However, he isn't squeezing the chest which detracts from the thickness a little bit. Areas like the abs look a bit washed out compared to 2022 as well, and his legs aren't as clearly defined. He does open up a bit more in 2024, however, this sacrifices some of the density in the chest and the thickness to the arms. I think that you will all agree that 2022 looks a lot better when it comes to the muscles and the posing, however, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, in general, I think that Chris's 2022 version won basically every shot that didn't directly show the torn bicep, his conditioning was far ahead of any other version that he's ever brought, and that was evident in this comparison. 2024 was definitely a top version though, however, even with a fixed bicep, I don't think that he's necessarily beating that 2022 package. Anyways, let me know down below which year do you guys think is Chris's best, and with that said, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.